previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You haven't changed a bit. The time has come, Brian. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. It's like all my worst enemies come back to haunt me. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltrum, perhaps a dozen of them. Yes, there's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. Alrighty guys, hello everybody, and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe, and we're back some more Resident Evil Revelations. Quite a little fiasco last episode with this. What a terrible loss. That's uh, a little too close there, girl. The ship doesn't have much longer. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? Yeah. Well, a little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. You two buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere. Been underwater. It should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Wow, she really tried to make a move on him. I can see why she was disappointed about switching partners. So this was all Raymond's <laughs> doing? No. We've only heard half the story. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. I keep almost going head first into the fan. Go to the laboratory. I forgot how to dive out of water for a second. No, oh, bye-bye. Okay. Question is, Hurry. we can cut through the bilge to get to the lab. Cut through Careful. the bilge. The water is infested with infected. Roger that. Wait, are you saying we have to go in the water? Yeah, apparently we do. All right. I don't really agree with this, but all right. Oh no! Fuck all me. All right. Oh my god. Where do we go? Here. Oh god. Please just go through the door. Oh, things are getting a little fuzzy. Magnum ammo. Don't need magnum ammo. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I was literally about to drown. Here we go. You're here. Literally got out there like just in the nick of time. Still don't have a shotgun. Oh, these things are a pain in the neck. Chris, get out of the way. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Following you. It's gonna go ahead and climb up the left. No! What are you doing? Jill. This way. Up the ladder. The lab's just up ahead. Which ahead are we talking? Oh god, I don't even... Oh, there's Chris, okay. I'm just gonna follow him. He seems to know where he's going. Jill, try using this. Thank you for the trident found key. found that key on the Samiramis. The ships are exactly the same. The lab should be this way. The layout's all the same. You sure about that, Chris? Even though I just said I'm trusting you like two seconds ago. Ah, oh, so many possibilities. Won't open. Alright, then I'll climb through the window instead. What's this? Alright, research in the deep sea virus. Montpelier Marine University conducted research via unmanned submersible during the fourth expedition to the Karmadec Trench. At 9,000 meters, a new type of super sea predatory fish was discovered. The deep seas have a unique effect on living organisms, but this creature, in addition to the usual tolerance to high pressures, displays an unbelievable degree of motility and if you're and a ferocity not usually found at such depths. What surprised us after examining the fish was that these unique traits were not native to the fish's biology, but were caused by the, a viral infection. Owing to the unfathomable nature of this virus, we decided to give it to the name the Abyss. We will continue to research it. We must find out why it takes such large fat and water reserves of deep sea fish, which are suited to the high pressure, low oxygen, low temperature depths, and turns them into high-density bone and muscle structures that are not usually found in organisms who live in deep water habitats. But if we can successfully develop a working BOW, we will have moved research in this field light years ahead. It is important to note blood transmission of the virus happens in 99.76% of all cases to date. In rare cases, some test subjects do not become infected until they take the virus orally and perhaps because it's diluted. We will do what we can to improve the effectiveness of the virus and redouble our efforts. The rest of the paper is faded and illegible. Great. Registering fingerprint. Take my fingerprint. Fingerprint registration complete. Sweet. Oh, the door won't open because a shelf is right in front of it. Uh, the sterilization room one illegal gun parts. Which way do we go? Uh the door's not gonna budge. What the heck? I try not go out. Now sterilizing. Please wait. Oh I remember this from two. You gotta sterilize us before we proceed to the next room. What the? Right. Can we leave? Trapped in here? What the heck? What's happening? Oh, that's not good. There's some activity outside of the room. Oh my god! Chill! Chill! Emergency. Emergency. Jill, I'm coming for you. Well, 
actually do with that man? This way. That mutated fish. Yeah, we're out of here. Jill, I need you in this fight. God damn, why do we have to fight this thing? I was not aware. escape that. I'm sorry, we could have escaped that. What is this? What kind of corridor is this? On a cruise ship. It makes a good cover. Who would ever suspect it? Good point. I hope we can find out oh, what the hell is going on. Take that. Right, let's keep going. I don't really want to go near that. There we go. Got health out of that. I only have five magnum rounds left, so that's kind of not good. The virus is somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Hit the mother load. All right, that was episode eight in the game. So, so far, pretty good. Go ahead and just hot save it real quick. Alrighty guys, well, partners have swapped, uh, we may have hit the mother load as far as uh, where the virus is being leaked out of, so yeah, how are we going to stop it from infecting the waters? So uh, on that note guys, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here, so thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Resident Evil Revelations here in Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. 
So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Resident Evil Revelations here in Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.